<laughs> no, of course I went back for it. You think I'm gonna leave this behind? So I just found out they moved all their jewelry, clothing, and accessories. It's called the Hut Hand Up Treasures. So maybe this is like Deja Blue. Ooh, cute couch. So pink. Oh, they're getting ready for something. Oh, I need this. Oh, I really need this. Let's find out how much it is. Okay, so it's that chair is $19. It's perfect for the office, studio, space. Maybe one day I'll have a shipper helping me and that'll be their chair. Oh, those are cute. Those are genuine antiques. Look at the condition on those. They are perfect. Cute old desk. Oh, bamboo. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. It's $100. That is super, super nice. That one's nice too, actually. They have quite a bit of mid-century here right now. This is a gorgeous chair. This is probably a modern reproduction. Although the, you know what? The upholstery looks really authentic. That is mid-century upholstery. Oh, well, I'll be, it's real. Well, it's $30. It's cute. We're going to say no. Because I, even though the upholstery is great, it doesn't need to be upholstered. It's just not my color. I'm not going to do it. I need an office chair. I don't need another mid-century modern chair. Okay, let's get to, oh, the jewelry's been moved. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. These are pretty. They might not have jewelry anymore because I noticed there wasn't any jewelry in the front case. All right, so maybe I came here for nothing. Western Electric. Well, it's a button push. Cute little display. All right. You probably moved the jewelry out of this store or something like that. That's the way my luck is today. Look at the old television. That's marvelous. Uh, okay, I'm just walking around making sure they didn't move the jewelry somewhere. It looks like they just don't have it anymore. But I spotted this. Really pretty colors. I think it's Majolica, see? Um, and it's it's in really nice condition. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty good. Is that a crack or is that like a water spot? I think it's a water spot. Yeah, goes all the way around. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to get that for $3. Look how nice all of these look all lined up like that from the other side. All of these pretty kind of crystal decanters. I'm going to go <laughs> Tupperware. Let's have a look around. See if there's anything pretty. This one's nice. This one's, oh, this is super heavy. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. All right, that one behind there. Look, it's flowers. This one's cool. This is very like genie in a bottle. It's just glass. It's like kind of on the you know, cheap glass side, so still a lovely, oh, look at that. Look at that stopper. Oh, this is light. This is bohemian glass, I believe. Not my thing. I would never know how to ship it, but I can definitely admire. This is cool. 
Oh, I thought it was mid-century. And it's not. It's from Kohl's. Okay, never mind. There's a second one of these chairs. This one's in rougher shape, but wow. What a pair of chairs to find. I think the antique dealers aren't here yet. I'm early. Um, there's a lot here. Except for jewelry, of course. Oh, I guess I'll check the art. Not really seeing anything. Oh, that's amazing. $29. That is an original. It's absolutely huge. I mean, it's huge. <sighs> I don't know. It's so fun. I can't. I know it's amazing, but I can't. I don't have the capacity. This is nice. Uh, <laughs> no, of course I went back for it. You think I'm going to leave this behind? But look at the size of it next to the car. It's huge. It's beautiful. I ended up doing a little bit of a Google search and it's like $750 to $1,500. But I love it. So it's going to be a special kind of thing if anybody wants this. Do contact me, but otherwise I'm going to keep it until somebody really thinks they really, really want it. <laughs> She's amazing. I'm, I think I'm going to name her. Um, I, I feel like her name is Daisy, but I'm not sure. This is probably like art class. That's fun. Uh, another one over here kind of great. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Okay. All right. Shelf is nice for $10. This little sort of key shelf. The mirror. Oh, now I've got it stuck. Okay, there it is. See? The hooks. I'll leave it. Oh, what's that? That looks cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh, <laughs> it's children's. Okay. Oh, how fun. Okay. What is this? The Tropicana? Jackie Gleason? Stormy Weather? Rye whiskey. <laughs> Tear down the mountains. That usually means go away. Oh, 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 I thought they were waving at me. I'm going to get along without you now. Okie dokie. Well, I look two or three times sometimes. All right. Something wild. 
Okay, so I just found out they moved all their jewelry, clothing, and accessories to a new location in Washington, and it's not open yet. So I'll go sometime after they open. Ooh, look at the colors in there. Okay. Hmm. That's, that actually has a Murano. There's smudge there from the sticker. But look how flat and clear. That one could be Murano. And it's cute. It's a purse. I'm going to ask Danny about that. Keep it in my hand in the meantime. That looks like it could glow. They're selling both of them together. Little shoes. Hmm. Look at all the hand mirrors. Kind of amazing. That one's monogrammed. Oh, it still works. I mean, it's still, you know, clear. It's not too cloudy. <laughs> still works. That's so funny. It's like a, I'm a product of my technological time. This is fun. A lighthouse. It says... Something Harbor Town Golf. Ooh, look at that. That's a lamp base. Wow. Look. That's amazing. That is amazing. I think I think so many people would like that, but um I wouldn't know. It's sort of above um, my level of knowledge right now. That's super heavy. And it's got stickers on it that probably say made in China. Still pretty. There's this one. This one looks older. No, it's not. Gosh, I just love those so much. That whole display shelf thing is so beautiful. Okay. Still had the little uh, glass purse in my hand. So we'll get that in the cart. you guys see anything? I'm not seeing anything. That's nice. It's a matching set. Enameled. Three pieces. Eleven. Oh, two pieces. Eleven. And then this one is eight. Look at that enamel. That's wonderful. I feel like it should have had a lid. This is beautiful though. This is so stunning. It's like what you see in jewelry. Yeah, I'll leave it. I love it though. But I will leave it. It is not my niche. Or maybe it goes like that. No, no. Pink and red. Blue. Look at this. Five dollars. Romantic rose. Beautiful. Newer. Ooh. Wow. Murano. Murano. 
24. See, there's that back. Stunning. I actually, what caught my eye first was this. I love this color. It's so beautiful. I can see what started uh, Danny on her glass journey because that color is so quenching. Like, it's just as we have a pumpkin with a hole in it. And this. Wonder, I feel like this looks like it glows, like even though it's blue. I'm going to check it. Here's the green. Pretty, pretty. Moving on. Ooh, look at that. What a beautiful pattern. Isn't it amazing? This is a thrift store. I know. It's arranged like a really nice antique store. This is just one section of the thrift. Habitat for Humanity. Look at all the ink wells. Wow. So awesome. I like this one. Pretty. Oh, look at this. Wash the bottom. Little milk bottle tops. Little tollware thing for five dollars. This is so mid-century cool. Let's do the milk glass. And then I will be heading out. You guys see anything? Catching your eye in there. Hmm. What's this? <laughs> this caught my eye. Oh, it's so lightweight. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. There was one thing I saw. Oh, this. This little vase. Okay. All right. I see... A uh, hat stand. Oh, it's not for sale. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Eight dollars working. Don't need a clock anymore. Yeah, I liked this. Not for sale. It's like camping, old camping stuff on it. Boy Scouts, I guess. We'll check this. Got remnants of red paint in it. There's a story there. Oh, look at that beautiful dresser with the mirror. That's lovely. See, that's timeless. That'll look great in any room. Might as well check this aisle. See if there's anything here. Hmm. This caught my eye. I think it's got a big crack in it. See that? Yeah, that's a crack. Hmm. Huh. It's cool. Anything else around here? That's adorable. The canisters that go together. Another set. Oh, these are all sets of canisters. Wonderful. I also noticed these in all the different colors. Those are pretty. Um, if you're having a part, oh, I've been wanting, oh my goodness, this is nuts. So I saw, uh, Danny saw one of these little tiny ones, um, just in her last video, she, she had like in a, a yard sale video that was like the yard sale video of her 
the yard sale of her dreams. And this started out in the beginning as little one. And I wanted it to put rings in just to keep my ring safe. And she didn't get it. And I was like, oh, I'll never find one. Here it is. It's perfect. This is a perfect little dresser thing just for your best rings, like your engagement rings. I might even put cotton on the inside. I, not cotton. I'm going to put ring forms in there so it'll hold rings. Very happy. I'm, I'm happy I came today. I was I really want. How totally cute is this? It came out really good, and I can keep it on my bedside table. Know where my rings are. I wanted one of these. Of the fake fruit is just props. They never sell it. I wish they did. I see watermelon mugs. So fun. Watermelon mugs. Little... Like a cardinal, I guess. It really does look like a cardinal. Cute. Okay. I feel like this could go with the mugs, but not really. Unless it was, you know, watermelon tea. Look at these. These are old. Made in Japan. There's four of them. They're all slightly different. Okay, I googled this and I just, I love the colors and the handles so much. And it does seem like it's really well made. So, but there's one on eBay selling for $30 right now, not sold. So I'm going to leave it for somebody else who does um, eBay, that kind of thing. I, I don't. It's a glass lamp. No, that's pottery. That looks familiar to me. I think somebody I knew had that once. Okay, check it out. It's called The Hut. Hand up treasures. So maybe this is like Deja Blue, their boutique thing. And this is the fourth day they are open. Um, they've only, they were only open one more uh, last weekend and today so let's see what's going on let's see what they've got this is exciting ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm liking. a little tour seems like there's a lot less here than um that's cool. Nothing special. I feel like there's a lot. Oh, there's one dollar things. Okay, we'll look through that. Doesn't it look like the jewelry is so much smaller than those walls that they had? Um, this is nice. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I recognize that from. Uh, the last one. That's kind of fun. This, I feel like I saw, I, there must be more jewelry here. There must be. Oh. I like this case. Ooh, what a pretty case. Look at this old case. Um, I guess they're just getting it going. I think that's what it is. Hmm. You can tell by the cut. Oh, look at the crown. That's fun. We don't need it. Looking for vintage or cool. You know, something that is worth getting, worth taking care of. Oh, there's a micro, there's some micro mosaic. Those are nice. Okay, we'll grab those. Oh, does that say fifty dollars? I think it does. 
Okay, so I think Habitat for Humanity has just become a place that I don't shop in for jewelry anymore. That, is that vintage? That might be vintage. We got to check on the price. Everything there is like 30, 25, 50. Ah, disappointment. I feel like I saw it before they moved. Yeah, so good news is I haven't missed anything. All right. Nope. Not seeing any hidden treasure. Agate. Little art glass thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. An Avon in the box. That's interesting. Kind of on the brutalist side. Mm. Nothing, it's not really special. This is cool. Oh, it's just an element. Okay. Oh, here's the baskets. All right, we'll check the baskets. Let's just do this first. No. That's a maybe. No. Oh, I always liked these. They are fun. Look, it's like, yeah, that's fun. We'll get that. I drove all the way here, so now I'm motivated. Stars are very heavy. We got watches. Look at the loose sight. <laughs> Here's some 60s stuff. We don't need it. We don't need it. That's cute. There is nothing. Oh, what is this? No. Cheap new copy of something old. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, little bird. Little orchid. Little. Angel, okie dokie, so I got these two things. Check over here. They're pretty. Very 80s. Day glue. In here, what is this? I think this is rhodochrosite. Oh, this is nice. That's a nice blue stone. We'll check that. I do like this. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty blue stone. 
natural six dollars with earrings. It is Okay, look, Marvella. That's cool. Still on the card. That's cool. Vintage Marvella. So I spent $40 in total. 30 of it was for that painting. That painting, when I did the original search, comped out at $17.50 on first dibs and around 500 on eBay. Turns out it was a thing in the 1970s. It's called Old Masters or something like that. It's a beautiful oil painting, really huge. Um, so that was a good deal. That was quite the score. And then these two things, okay, this is the other $10. I paid six for this with the earrings and four for this. This is late 60s, early 1970s, true vintage. That is handmade flowers on velvet, okay? And it's a pin pendant. Nice vintage there. This comps out at $25 to $45. This surprised me. I thought it was going to be like $45 to $75 because of the gold fill, you know, the fish hook filigree clasp, nice vintage, right? This is faceted blue lace agate. They're large beads. And there is a similar necklace or similar beads with just a plain modern um, sterling silver lobster claw clasp that QVC is selling right now. Its price after sales and deductions and everything, its sale price is $199. Okay, so this comes out, this is nicer than that. This is an old uh, gold filled clasp, right? The beads are gorgeous, really pretty. Really, really pretty blue lace agate. I like faceted. This makes it unusual. When you see something that's normally not faceted and it's faceted, super, super nice. This is a high-end piece. And I have the matching earrings with the gold-filled post, everything marked, original uh, butterfly clutch backs. So that'll be coming up at auction. If you would like to bid uh, or buy, I have auctions twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Come check one out. Also, if you're a reseller, you can find out my actual sold prices. You can really see what things are going for. And, uh, and you can text me at 917-809- 7250 to get free alerts when I go live with auctions or sales or pop-ups. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. If you made it this far, then at least like the video. Obviously you like it, you've made it this far and I will see you in the next one. Bye.